Hi everybody, I wanted to talk to you about uh, digitizing your sheet music. If you're like me, you probably have uh, stacks of books and sheet music laying around. And whenever you want to try to find a song to play, it's a little bit of a pain searching through everything trying to find exactly what you want. Um, and then when you get what you want, you throw it up on your rack and then you find that the books closes on you or the uh, music falls off the rack or the music's too large and it doesn't even fit on the rack. So what I did, I took all the sheet music that I really enjoy playing and I digitized it, I scanned it. And then uh, any of the new stuff I'm also uh, bringing down and uh, digitizing in a way that uh, I can work with those files and uh, have them up on my PC. So any of you that have uh, watched some of my videos, you see me uh, poking my screen and I'll explain why. So everybody, um, aside from having the music books, uh, today is going out on uh, like sheetmusicdirect.com or uh, Music Notes or even going to the free places like uh, sheetmusicfree.com. Um, this is a nice little site, but just stay away from all these little buttons over here and all these ads. That's the little pain with that. And if you're up on Sheet Music Direct, um, uh, do a search on fake because they have like over 11,000 fake music uh, and some stuff is free and some stuff is only uh, two bucks so it's kind of a good deal uh, but if you're going to if you have all this music and you can well, you can do what I did and just scan it into your computer and uh, what I did I scanned my files in as TIFF format T-I-F-F and I scan as black and white, uh, 300 DPI should be okay. Just don't scan in grayscale and don't scan in color because that'll be, give you large file sizes. So once you've scanned your music in, uh, you can put them all into a single folder. You can rename the, the file names to the song and the artist information. But there's some other things that you can do that you may not be aware of. Uh, you can tag all these files as I have done as you look through here. You can add the uh, artist name, you can give uh, the genre if you wanted to, to put that in there. And then you can put notes in here as I have. So with my music, uh, I've gone through in preparation for adding all these songs into registrations. I've, I'm going through and trying to find what styles and tempo and variations uh, might be a good idea for me. So I've taken notes uh, with my music. So in order to, to see this stuff uh, or to add an edit, you would just right click on your file and then go to properties and details. Within here is your title, your subject information, or rating, tags, and comments. Those are the main ones you can work with and I found that, that is, uh, is pretty helpful. Uh, by default, a lot of these will not show up in your list if you just open up uh, File Explorer. Um, but you can get that by right clicking on the top and then uh, selecting or unselecting any of these uh, any of these tags that you feel that uh, you want to see. Now, if they don't show up in the list, uh, I don't like comments. Comments that doesn't come up by default. What you have to do is just search for it. So if you go down to more, you'll go through this whole list and you'll be able to find comments within there. And then just select it and then hit OK, and it'll pop up here. And the nice thing about uh, about this, you can just drag them around, see where you where you want to place them. And once that's all in there, you can sort. So if you want to sort by your, your names, you can. if you know you want to play a song, you don't know what artist it's from, you can sort by the song. Or if you just are in the mood for uh, some Eagles songs, you can sort the tags and you can play all of your Eagles songs. Or if it's around Christmas time, uh, you can play your uh, Christmas music. You can sort that that way. Or, uh, or if you're alone on Christmas, you can play the blues. So, uh, to show you through here, um, I got over 750 songs that I have scanned in so far. And uh, so far I've come up with a bunch of styles and I have uh, about 300 of them all tagged and ready to go. So let me show you what you can do once you get it uh, scanned in here. And I'm using an application called uh, Modi or Microsoft Office Document Imaging. Uh, that's a little add-on program that you can find if you happen to have an old Office 2003-2007 uh, CD or disc laying around. Uh, all you have to do is install this uh, little application. You don't have to install anything else. Um, there's other places you can get it, and there's other TIFF readers out there that you can use. Um, I believe there's also a Chrome extension you can use. Uh, I haven't even tried that, though. 
But uh, what Modi uh, gives you is uh, the ability to not only edit the songs, but it gives you nice little uh, thumbnails off to the side. So as I'm playing my music, I have a touchscreen computer in front of me. So all I have to do is touch the screen for the pages I want to go to. And the nice thing about it is I can have uh, two pages side by side here. And uh, when it comes to editing this song, I can go and tag wherever I want to change uh, registrations or change variations. I can highlight those uh, throughout the music. So when I'm coming back to a song that I haven't played in like five or six months, everything is all ready for me. So I know what to do. Another thing I can do is uh, with this application, um, some songs are pretty complex and have a lot of repeats in them. And with that, uh, sometimes I have a, a trouble finding uh, where, that, where the repeat lies within the music. So what I've done, I've used the highlighter tool on here and then gone in and highlighted uh, the repeat sections. Um, and I've color coded them so they match so I know exactly where to go. It uh, helps when you have big pieces of music um, and it's just, just really handy. Um, but to drop in uh, text boxes and stuff and notes for yourself, you just uh, insert text box feature here and create a little box for it and start typing in whatever you want to say. So that'll stay within the music for you. So next time you open it up, uh, everything you want is there. So that's what I wanted to talk about and show what I have. Um, if anyone has any other ideas I know people have subscriptions to some of these online services for music but I don't know how well it is uh, with regard to skipping around for different pages and stuff and um, I and then you probably have if you're like me with hundreds of music pieces that you already have um, why not just make make use of those so I, I prefer using my own music rather than uh, going online and do a subscriber service or anything like that but um, if anyone has any comments or questions, uh, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope this was, uh, was beneficial to you. All right, have a good day.